Have you ever pondered the true impact of colonialism in Africa? A vast continent, rich in resources and teeming with diverse cultures, Africa was dramatically disrupted and transformed by the incursion of European colonial powers in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These foreign invaders sought to exert control over Africa's people and exploit its wealth, reshaping societies in profound and often devastating ways. But this is not just a story of subjugation and exploitation. It's also a tale of resistance and resilience of African leaders and communities who stood firm in the face of overwhelming odds, refusing to surrender their sovereignty. They fought back with courage, determination, and an unyielding spirit, sparking resistance movements that would leave indelible marks on the continent's history. One such resistance leader was Sarauniya Mangu, a queen and warrior from the Asna ethnic group in present-day Niger. Born in the late 19th century, Sarunia Mangu was destined for greatness. Her story begins in the heart of West Africa, in the Asna Sultanate of Lugu, now known as Niger. From her earliest days, she was immersed in a culture deeply imbued with a warrior spirit. The Asna people were renowned for their fierce resistance to outside forces, a legacy that Sarunia was born into and would come to embody. Growing up, Sarunia was surrounded by tales of valor and resilience stories of warriors who stood their ground against all odds. The Asna's warrior traditions were not just stories, they were a way of life, and Sarunia was steeped in them, a sponge absorbing the principles that would guide her future. Her upbringing in this vibrant warrior culture shaped her, molding her into a formidable leader. As she grew older, she honed these values, sharpening them into the tools she would need to lead her people. The Asna's indomitable spirit was now her own, and it would serve her well in the tumultuous times to come. Sarauniya Mangu was more than a product of her environment. She was a beacon, a shining example of the Asna's warrior spirit. And as she stepped into adulthood, she was ready to embrace her destiny. These warrior traditions would serve Sarauniya well in the challenging years ahead. Sarauniya Mangu was no ordinary leader. This formidable queen wasn't just born into power, she earned it. She inherited the mantle of leadership from her predecessors, stepping into a lineage of warriors and leaders that stretched back generations. But Saraunya didn't merely inherit leadership, she honed it, shaped it, and made it her own. Saraunya was known for her exceptional military skills. She was a strategist, a tactician, and a warrior. She understood the battlefield not just as a place of combat but as a chessboard. Each move, each decision had to be calculated, planned, and executed with precision. This wasn't just about winning battles, it was about protecting her people, preserving their way of life. Her leadership style was anything but conventional. She led not from a throne, but from the front lines. She fought alongside her warriors, sharing in their struggles, their victories, and their losses. This wasn't a queen who merely commanded, this was a queen who inspired. She earned the respect and loyalty of her warriors not through fear or intimidation, but through courage and determination. She was their queen, yes, but she was also their comrade, their leader, their Sarauniya. Her warriors would follow her into battle, not because they were ordered to, but because they believed in her, in her vision, in her cause. Sarauniya Mangu was a leader who understood the weight of responsibility, the cost of freedom, and the importance of resilience. She knew that leadership wasn't about power, it was about service. It was about standing up for what was right, even when it was difficult, even when it was dangerous. And so, she would lead her people through one of the most challenging periods in their history, a period marked by foreign invasion and colonial ambition. These were times of change, of uncertainty, of fear. But Sarunia was not one to back down. She was a warrior, a leader, a queen. Her leadership and military prowess would be put to the ultimate test against the invading French colonial forces. In 1899, Sarunia Mangu's leadership was tested in the fiery crucible of battle. The Battle of Lugu was about to unfold, a clash of cultures, of wills and of strategies that would etch itself into the annals of history. Sarunya Mangu's forces were composed of her loyal warriors, the Asna, known for their warrior traditions and relentless spirit. Against them stood a French expeditionary force led by Captain Voulet and Lieutenant Chanoine. The French, armed with superior firepower and a larger army, were confident in their impending victory. However, they were unaware of the storm that awaited them. The stage was set, 
the French forces marched onto the battlefield, their boots echoing ominously against the silence of the African plains. Opposing them, Sarauniya Mangu's warriors stood defiant, their eyes burning with the resolve to protect their homeland. The air was thick with anticipation as the first cries of war echoed across the field. Despite being heavily outnumbered Sarauniya Mangu's forces resisted fiercely, their strategy was not one of brute force but of guile and cunning. They knew the terrain like the back of their hands and used it to their advantage, launching surprise attacks and ambushes that bewildered the French troops. The clash of steel against steel and the roar of gunfire filled the air, but the Asna warriors fought on, undeterred by the chaos surrounding them. Saraunia Mangu herself was at the forefront, leading her troops into the fray. Her courage and determination were palpable, inspiring her warriors to fight with even more vigor. The French forces were taken aback by the ferocity of the Asna warriors and their strategic prowess. What they had anticipated as an easy victory turned into a grueling battle that inflicted heavy casualties on their side. The Battle of Lugu raged on for days, a relentless dance of power and resistance. Yet despite the odds stacked against them, Saraunia Mangu's forces held their ground. They inflicted heavy losses on the French troops, a feat that was nothing short of miraculous given the circumstances. The Battle of Lugu was a testament to Saraunia Mangu's leadership and strategic acumen. It showcased the indomitable spirit of the Asna warriors and their unwavering loyalty to their leader. It was a battle that echoed the refusal of a people to bow down to foreign invaders, a battle that challenged the might of a colonial power. Despite the odds, Saraunia Mangu's forces had held their own, earning her a place in the annals of history. The Battle of Lugu remains a symbol of resistance, a testament to the courage and resilience of Saraunia Mangu and her people. Saraunia Mangu's story did not end with the Battle of Lugu. These are words that echo through the annals of history, reminding us of the indomitable spirit of a woman who dared to defy an empire. The legacy of Saraunia Mangu, the fierce queen and military leader from the Asna ethnic group, is not confined to the borders of her homeland in present-day Niger. It stretches far and wide, resonating through the corridors of time and space inspiring generations with her tale of courage, resilience, and defiance against colonial oppression. Her story, a saga of grit and determination has been immortalized in various forms of cultural expression. Literature, films, and oral traditions have all paid homage to this valiant warrior queen, painting vivid images of her life and struggles. Each narrative, each portrayal, amplifies the essence of her spirit, her unyielding resistance against the forces that sought to subjugate her people. In literature Saraunia Mangu's story has been narrated with a fervor that matches her own. Her tale of resistance has been penned down, immortalizing her bravery and instilling in readers a sense of awe and inspiration. The power of her persona, the audacity of her defiance, and the depth of her conviction, all have been encapsulated in the written word, ensuring that her story continues to inspire generations. In the realm of cinema, her life has been depicted with equal intensity. Films have showcased her military acumen, her tactical brilliance, and her indomitable spirit, bringing her story to life on the silver screen. These cinematic renderings have etched her image into the collective consciousness, making her a symbol of resistance and a beacon of hope. Oral traditions too have played a significant role in preserving and propagating her story. Passed down through generations these narratives have kept her memory alive, ensuring that her tale of valor and resistance continues to echo through the ages. But Saraunia Mangu's legacy extends beyond the realm of cultural expression. It permeates the discourse on resistance, sovereignty, and the impact of colonialism in Africa. Her story serves as a testament to the strength and resilience of indigenous leaders who stood their ground against overwhelming odds. It underscores the power of resistance, the importance of sovereignty, and the lasting effects of colonialism. Her life and struggles continue to inspire discussions and debates, prompting us to reflect on the past, understand the present, and envision a future where oppression and imperialism have no place. Her story, her legacy, continues to resonate, reminding us of the power of resistance, the importance of sovereignty, and the resilience of the human spirit. Saraunia Mangu, a testament to the strength and resilience of indigenous leaders who fought to protect their communities and heritage against overwhelming odds. A legacy that continues to resonate and inspire to this day.